Griffin Bass here with you with uh, Coach Brandon Childs from York College after they fall 11-8 to to Dickinson in game one of uh, day two of the Mustang Classic. Uh, Coach, uh, you guys found yourselves down by four se on two separate occasions. You guys were able to battle back but end up falling just short. Your overall thoughts on uh, the performance? Yeah, well, we've done that a lot this year. Um, we've started out slow and we got a resilient group, so they just keep going. Um, and it's almost like once we feel our backs are on the ropes, we start to play uh, harder, you know. And um, I don't even know if harder is it, but it's it's more, you know, it's more a positive than it is a negative that we're resilient and we don't just roll over. But we got to find a way, and that starts with me to get us to start better for sure. Uh, you did make a goalie change there. Nash Womack came in and, and made a made, made a few big saves there, kept you guys in it. Um, what do you think? That's a change you might continue with uh, throughout the season or, or what do you think of both your, your keepers of uh, today? Yeah, I like all the goalies in our locker room to be honest with you. I don't know what we're going to do. We're only five minutes afterwards so there will be some thought that goes into that. Um, but um, but I have confidence in all of our goalies. I think Dickinson, um, I don't think we helped Jack out very much. I thought we gave Dickinson a lot of shot opportunities um, just from, from inside good shooting range. Um, but to their credit, they've got shooters that can shoot from that range. And so probably caught us off guard a little bit um, defensively and, and left Jack out to dry a little bit. Um, Nash has proven to be pretty good on those shots. And so we made the switch that we thought was, so it was, it was less about Jack and it was more about Nash, if I'm being, if I'm being honest with you. Uh, Blackman uh, did a, I thought he did a great job with Thurston. Thurston's an All-American, and he got his at times. Obviously, that's that's going to happen. But uh, but overall, performance uh, th thoughts on uh, on how Blackman defended today? Yeah, I'm I'm glad you asked me. I th I think he's one of the best defenders in the country. I thought yesterday he did a fantastic job on Judge from St. Lawrence. Um, you know, the week before that, we asked him to bump up and guard Salisbury's top midfielder, um, and he's been up for the challenge all year. He's a very hardworking kid. I'm super proud of him. Um, and I think this weekend, he was definitely one of our, our bright spots for sure. Uh, how important is it this this gauntlet of a schedule? You know, six of your first seven opponents have, have all been nationally ranked. Uh, how's that going to prepare you for, for you guys down the road as you get into conference play and, and, you know, playing deep into May? Yeah, for sure. I mean, the schedule's designed for that reason. Um, if, you know, I don't want to say some sort of sport cliches. I'm trying to think of the right way to say it. But at the end of the day, like we want to play the best teams. We, they make us better. And um, they expose our weaknesses, and then we get to work on our weaknesses. And if there's one thing that I just know about our guys is that they're going to come on Monday ready to work. And, um, and had we come, you know, had we won, you know, if our record was 7-0 and right now, um, Monday's practice would look a little different than it's going to look when we're not 7-0. and um, And... Uh, and we'll be better for it, for sure. All right, thanks a lot, Coach. Go, go recover, and uh, good luck the rest of the way. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it.